Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Ray and welcome to this new video. This video is going to be a 99 fire making guide. Um, yes, it's been a while since I made a new 99 skill guide, but here it is, a 99 fire making guide. What we'll be including in, in this video is the fastest or cheapest way to 99, prizes and times that, that it will take to get to 99, the best fire making spots, I'll show you my personal top 3 and also some different spots so you can choose which one to use, some tips and tricks from me, also some alternative ways to train your fire making, and eventually the fire making emotes and the cape and also where to get it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now let's explain fire making real simple to you. It's basically setting logs on fire. That's actually the only way or the, the real good way to train fire making. Now you can do this in three different ways and two being um, uh, the most common way to do it. The first one is, of course, the tinderbox. Everyone knows about it. If you've done, if you've ever done fire making, you have used a tinderbox. Tinderbox can easily be obtained at the uh, at the ground exchange or at some general stores all across RuneScape. Also, at level 43 summoning, you can use a pyre lord, which is also a good good way to train fire making. And your locks will actually get a bonus if you um, set them on fire. But this is actually slower than the tinderbox, so the tinderbox is also used the most. And the last one is barbarian fire making, so you can use a bow to uh, light some logs. But in this guide, I'm only going to show you the tinderbox since this is actually the fastest way to train fire making and also the most common way. Now, when you just start out fire making, you can only burn one log, which is the normal log. Normal logs give 40 experience when burned. They cost 47 coins in the GE, and you'll need a level of one. Now, normal logs can be easily bought in the GE. But I recommend cutting them yourself so you can get some extra wood cutting experience as well. And it's a, bit, a little bit stupid to waste uh, quite a bit of cash on uh, this, yeah, this kind of log since it don't really give that many experience. So I recommend uh, cutting this yourself. It can be easily cut all across RuneScape since this is uh, a normal tree you should just cut, a cut down. Now the next log is oak logs. Oak logs uh, cost 25 GP when bought in the uh, ground exchange and gives 60 experience. You need a fire making level of 15 to burn them. Once you level f uh, 15 fire making, I really rec recommend going to these logs as they give 20 uh, experience more than normal logs. I recommend burning these to level 30 so you can get onto the next log. Also, this can be easily cut down all across RuneScape since they are not that hard to cut. Now that we have the lower logs out of the way, let's go on to the little bit higher level logs. Here we have the Wither Log. It will cost 13 GP to actually buy in a ground exchange, which is nothing. And it will give 90, ex 90 fire making experience when burned. You'll need 30 fire making to actually light this log. And when you're free to play, this is the way to go when sh if you want 99 fire making. Since, as I said, the log only costs 13 GP, it's a really cost uh, efficient way to get to 99 fire making. There is one better log, the U Log, which I'll we'll talk about later on. But if you are free to play, this is a real cheap way to get 99 fire making. Now the next log is the maple log. This one is a little bit more expensive than the willow log, but also grants 135 experience points if you burn it. You'll need 45 fire making to actually light the log, and it will cost 41 GP to buy it in the GE. Now this log, if you want to cut it, it is quite slow. So from this log on, I'll actually um, recommend buying these in the ground exchange. You can also buy the wheel logs as I said before. You can also buy them in the ground exchange. But these are quite far or uh, those were quite fast to cut as well. But maple logs are quite slow so I recommend buying these in the GE. Now if you're a member and you want a really quick but efficient way to get to or cost efficient way to get to not enough fire making, maple logs is the way to go. Since they're only 41 GP each and still give 135 experience per log burn. So this will actually be a great way to get 99 fire making. Now the next log and the most expensive free to play log is the U log. As you can see it costs 422 GP uh, on the ground exchange. Um, still it is really slow to cut so I still recommend buying this one. And if you have a little bit more cash to spend on 99 fire making definitely use this since it will give an amazing 202.5 experience per log and you'll need 60 fire making to actually burn this log. So if you have a little bit more cash to, to spare, definitely, definitely use this log. If you don't, go with Willow Logs. Now we have the Eucalyptus Log. I don't know if it's say it right, but anyway. 
This is a member's log, and it's kind of a cheaper way of the U log. Since it is 355 GP each, also gives a little bit less experience, which is 193.5, but you'll need a fire making level of 58. Now, I recommend this log over the U log, since it is uh, a little bit less experience, but also way less expensive. So, um, I recommend this one over the U-Log. Of course, if you're free to play, you can't use this log, so I still recommend, recommend the U-Log, but if you're a member, definitely go with the Eucalyptus log. Now, if you're a member, and you're extremely rich, and you want to spend a lot of money on fire making, definitely go with the Magic Log. It will cost you 1,342 GP to actually buy one in the Grand Exchange, but gives an amazing 303.8 experience per log. Of course, you also need a uh, um, fire making level of 75 to actually burn the log. But if you want to go to 99 the fastest way possible, definitely go with magic logs. Uh, eventually, it will cost you about 50 mil to actually get to 99. So it's only for the richest and the richest. So I do recommend a different method. But if you have the cash to spare, definitely go with this one. Now on screen, I'll show you three of my most favorite fire making places. On number three is in Sears Village uh, at the bank just in front of the bank you can see a nice place where you can get your fire making up quite quickly close to a bank my number three my number two is in Varrock it is the uh, West Bank I believe yes the West Bank the big bank just below there uh, you'll see a nice place from the fountain till the bank and you can just fire make there and my number one place as you saw in the last few clips where I was fire making, that's actually how I got my fire making up. Uh, at the chest, it's a one click bank and also quite nice place. Not ma many people are there if you're in the right world. Of course, if you go in a staking world or something, a lot of people will be there, but not a lot of people will be there if you go in, a, in the right world. So it is quite f uh, nice and, yeah, quiet. <laughs> Now, if you are actually planning on getting 99 fire making, there are two items which are extremely useful if you can actually get them. First of all, we have the ring. The ring of fire. You'll need 62 fire making to actually wear this one, and it'll give you a 2% experience boost to every lock you burn wi while wearing this one. If you, have al if you also have the gloss, we'll need 79 fire making to actually wear this one. It will also give you a 2% boost to wear if you wear them. But if you wear those together, you'll get a 5% boost, which is extremely useful, so it will actually save you 5% of your time. Now, if you have 92 fire making, you can get the Inferno ads, which you'll see the picture in the middle. What this does, if when you go fire making, um, it will actually incinerate some of the logs while you're cutting it. It's 33% of the logs, what you cut will be incinerated um, automatically, and you get fire making experience for it, so it is extremely useful. But the Inferno adds you'll actually need 92 fire making, which is kind of a big goal. So you need to get 92 fire making by just burning logs. Every, th uh, every, one, every single one of these items, ev all three of them, can be um, obtained from the mini game Fired Up. Or you'll need the quest Fired Up, fire up and it is the, the Beacon Network mini game. It is kind of a long mini game, but it is worth it, as you can get these items. Now, and if you finally got 99 fire making, congratulations! You can now go to Sears Village. Fe Sears Village, you can just uh, go below there. Uh, there's a guy standing around a fire or something. He has, he wears the fire making cape. You'll see a picture of the fire making cape on screen right now. Even though it is a quite easy cape to get, uh, it looks kind of amazing. So, uh, congratulations with your fire cape. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. It took me quite a while to make to make it. So, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell me in the comments what you think, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel. Also, I made a new channel background, uh, feel free to check it out. also made a new YouTube picture, uh, a profile picture. Uh, I did all with paint, so I'm quite proud of it. So, uh, Anyway, as I said, comment, rate, and subscribe. Watch for further videos, and goodbye.